my question is how will the disqualification of rahul gandhi as an mp change the dynamics of indian politics and especially the upcoming 2024 elections thank you so vakil sahab so vakil sahab tell me how does somebody change something when somebody is absent always but what i love about this lawyer ladies and gentlemen what i love about this lawyer is that before she asked me a question the minute she held the mic in her hands she first checked the time to determine whether she should say good morning or good afternoon so since you have evidenced your conversation let me say this what is the premise on which this disqualification has happened the insinuation in your question is as though it is the government which has disqualified an mp which possibly stems from certain newspaper articles or certain debates and you're nodding your head that means i'm correct in my assumption but since you're a student of the law you know that it's a directive of the court and why is it a directive of the court because the person concerned made a racial slur against the obc community let that fact first be placed on record now many amongst you who are seated here today do not know each other's possibly caste religion background let me draw your attention to somebody on stage who's from the obc community so the racial slur mr gandhi has heaped is not only on one individual but the entire community that includes the chancellor so now a case in a court of law is fought on merits and evidence if you read the judgment the judgment says that the person concerned did not defend himself which leads me to assume two things that either somebody within his political organization just did not want to defend him knowing what the courts are capable of under the law or rahul gandhi thought he is above the law and that no court in this country will hold him accountable you are free to believe any of those two theories but as a student of law i'm sure you know once the court has ordered a particular conviction it is incumbent upon the speaker of the house to follow constitutional practice now who is the speaker of the house the speaker of the house of the lok sabha precisely is an entity that manifests the will of the indian people through constitution this is not a speaker who wakes up one morning and says let me write the law as i deem fit this is a speaker who presides over the lok sabha on the basis of the constitution on the basis of acts of parliament and this is a speaker that also responds automatically to the judicial precedent set by law that is incumbent upon the speaker to follow so the speaker takes a decision should we in a democracy as they just we says if we truly thrive as a democracy say that you can indulge in a racial slur against an entire community and then not be held accountable by law just because you are rahul gandhi because there have been people from his party who have said on record that the law for the average indian should be separate and that law that deals with the gandhi family needs to be separate you heard that statement so i ask the audience today should all men women and every gender be equal amongst and in front of the law so the law spoke hence let the law be followed and When you talk about 2024 honestly you want me to answer that question no. 
Okay. So what is the premise on which he seeks to fight? He says in England, nobody lets him speak in a university in India. Is that true? Has he gone to universities in India? He has. Right? Have students interacted with him? Has government stopped any student from interacting with him? That means was he lying in England? But when you go overseas, and you say democracy is dead in India. I ask the voters and those who have not voted yet, has democracy died in your country? You are a country that was attacked by a terrorist in Mumbai. That terrorist was caught and brought to justice in a court of law. Do you remember Kasab? You are a part of one of the most majestic democracies of the world. Your democracy was attacked by an enemy state. But even that enemy was captured and through due process of law punished. Is your democracy dead? One of the greatest, he just was kind enough and I again infer to his use of mother tongue which I did not understand. In 2014, Narendra Modi won a fantastic majority, but I lost a major. Wasn't democracy alive then? So this is not the first institution Mr. Gandhi has attacked. And why does he attack it? He attacks it because it's a lower court. He distracts you. But when it comes to the Supreme Court, he grows and grovels for mercy. He does. So I think that will such a person in a confused state of mind be a challenge to Narendra Modi? What do you think? <laughs>